Thank you guys for coming out. We really appreciate that. Um, tonight, um, what we plan on doing is a group of table exercises to come up with a design that the community wants uh, for this particular um, playground. We've been working at this for a while. Uh, we think we've got um, a good strategy for how to approach this. This is the playground. Um, you can see here in the corner, this is the uh, Raymond School where we are now. And as you move towards the north and east, um, this is our uh, uh, target property that we've been working with. So we have um, these uh, one inch equals 11, so it's, it's two scale of uh, the, the, the Walker Playground. And what we plan on doing is working with these templates that our um, park designer has provided with us. So we have all sorts of different templates of different play fields. And we're concentrating on the play fields because that's the most active part of the park. There's going to be areas um, for walking paths and there can be areas for gardens and more trees and all sorts of things like that. That's gonna come part of the after process of figuring out where the play fields and activity zones are, are going to be. Hi, I'm Shirley Azak. I'm the Ward 7 City Councilor. And tonight we're here at the um, Oscar Raymond uh, Elementary School. We're uh, here with um, uh, residents from the city. Many of them are abutters to the Walker's Playground. Walker's Playground is right here behind the school. It's um, at the end of May Avenue off of North Main Street. Uh, a few months back, uh, we received a grant to uh, redo and uh, fix up our park. The planning department has worked hard on this. They have uh, different, uh, each group, uh, they have split everybody up into groups. They've given them little pieces of uh, fun things that can be in the park, different uh, uh, games, fields that they can uh, place. And each group is going to be in charge of creating their own plan for what they would like to see in the park. Well, hi, uh, my name is Rob May. I'm Director of Planning and Economic Development for the City of Brockton. And we're here at the Raymond School uh, for a community meeting to talk about the design for a new Gilbert Walker playground. This administration under Mayor Carpenter uh, has been working with our planning department and our parks and recreation department to apply for state funding to rehabilitate uh, several parks in our community. And we've worked um, on the south side uh, most recently with Edgar Playground and Keith Park and now we have a chance to do a park up here in the Montello neighborhood and each group has a map or aerial photograph of the park and several puzzle pieces which are basically the shapes of the various playgrounds and recreational fields that could possibly go into the park. We've given people more than what can actually fit on the park so it, it's really an exercise in what do people want? What do the neighbors want? How does it fit into the park? Uh, how does it work best in the, to serve the needs of the community and the needs of the neighborhood? Well, uh, uh, my name is Moses Rodriguez and I'm one of the uh, at-large city councils here in Brockton. As you can see, we've got quite a few people behind me here on this uh, community meeting to discuss the future of Walker Playground. Uh, it's an important playground here in the city. And by bringing people together to discuss what they want in their neighborhoods, to me, is the form how government should work. It should not really be up to us sitting or living in different places to decide what's good for the neighborhood. It should be the neighbors deciding what's best for them. So I want to thank uh, Shirley uh, Azak, the uh, ward council from uh, Ward 7 here in, the, uh, in this area, and some of the other officials that are here. From, uh, from City Hall and um, from the Parks Department, individuals who are taking seriously the concerns of the neighborhoods, um, thinking that it's, it's important for us to keep in mind that we're only employees of the taxpayers and the uh, ratepayers in this community, and it's up to us to do what the taxpayers want in this community. And we appreciate the fact that they came out, and we have to respect what the, uh, what the taxpayers want. And we are city government, we're going to do uh, 
what's best for them, according to them, and we'll continue to listen and fulfill the, the wishes of the folks in our community.